candidates, you have been so punctual that we've gotten to the bonus question. Oh. <laughs> it might be a short answer, but it was one I was really hoping we would get to. The first person here will be Alex. And this question <laughs> pertains to public myth, memory, and history. Assuming you win election, you will serve as city council member during the quarter of millennium anniversary of both the United States in 2026 and the city of San Jose in 2027. Given the present discourse around colonialism, what celebration, commemoration, or other observance do you support the city having for these momentous anniversaries during your first term as a city council member? <laughs> Alex? <laughs> Well, as you all know, candidates love to talk as long as they can, and uh, I certainly consider myself an expert on some issues. I think I've thought about a lot of issues in the city of San Jose. Unfortunately, Andrew, this is one I have given no thought to, and uh, I fear it would be a disservice to all of you for me to just ramble and make stuff up. So I will say, Andrew, I will think about it. I'm open to your thoughts. Like most of what I do, it would be community engagement oriented, so I would have a conversation with different groups in the city to hear their thoughts on this. But as of now, sorry y'all, I just don't have enough to share. I'd like to hear from the community, right? So this is the same model. Have the same thing we talk about with our districts, with the neighborhood associations, the business associations, the nonprofits. Let's have a committee, right? Let's do this democratically. Every one of the individual neighborhood associations come up with your top three. Right, the same model moves over, then we move that to the business associations, they take care of that. And then we sit in the committee. Here's one of the cool things, also colonialism. I, I recognize my well, very hot seat of what I'm sitting inside of the understanding of colonialism inside the United States. One of the things that we used to do in, in my previous experience is we had 98 people inside of the service that had my specific job. And once a year what we would do is we would go and we would meet and try to be able to come up with our priorities for the entire year. A big room full of people with really big egos, and so what we would do is we'd go in this room, we'd lock the door, and proverbially for a week, we would sit and we would yell and we would scream and we would argue with one another. And at the end of the day, we would come out, or the end of the week, excuse me, we'd come out with our list of priorities. Everyone had an equal vote and the model itself, and then one of the things that we guaranteed was a social contract to be put into the room and set When we leave, the, when we enter the room, we are separate voices. When we leave this room, we are unified. And that's what I would like to do, because again, I don't know really much about the question you really asked itself, and so take it for that is let's hear from the community, but then again, the social contract remains. Whatever we decide, that is our decision, and we'll back that forward. Thank you. I know, I'm going to have some fun with the answer. Um, I mean, I think this town loves to party, um, and I think what would be cool, I ran the Mar New York Marathon in 2001, I think. What was so cool about it is that it was an expression of all of New York, all the five boroughs. You start in one borough and you run to the next and you get through all five boroughs. And everywhere you go, there's a rock band, right? It's sort of Via Calle San Jose, but on full steroids. And it is such a celebration of culture and life and presence. And they honor all of these thousands of people that come from all over the world to celebrate in their town. To me, that's the kind of thing that we should celebrate, right? The diversity, the culture, the food, the music, the variety. That's what I think San Jose should celebrate. I've gone to most of Via Calle. It's sort of a cool expression of San Jose, but I think something to celebrate that kind of birthday would be incredibly valuable, and we would be sort of in the midst of this broader national celebration. So we do it San Jose style. That's a great question. Uh, and, and Michael, you, I am following. Actually, I was thinking the same thing. And, and Kivak, I actually, I know this because I'm, I'm from a couple of previous 
the awesome women council members. And when they first told me about Viva Calle, they came from Mexico. I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And it was implemented in San Jose. And I've gone to practically every Viva Calle event. Um, but we've never really had it across the whole city of San Jose. And wouldn't that be awesome to just kind of broaden it up? Um, and we always have these great events in, in downtown San Jose, um, in the border, and we always have them in certain pockets. But to open it up, and I was actually thinking about opening up all of Santa Clara, like all of the Alameda, and all the way down, and then doing the same through Willow, Allen Rock, and just going all the way up into the Allen Rock Hills. That would be like wonderful to just kind of cut across all of San Jose. So that would be a wonderful way to kind of engage the whole city of San Jose. Um, I would I would definitely want something like that. But again, that would be engaging all of San Jose residents and if that would be something that um, everybody would want because um, we have to think about the dollars and cents and making sure that we have the budget for it because I know that Viva Calle's budget kind of got a little bit cut. Um, but that's a way that we can kind of incorporate it and have some civic engagement as well with that. Um, so yeah, I'd love to have that. Um, I have 36 uh, seconds, so I was going to go ahead and say that um, my daughter was here earlier. So um, on, a, on a side note, bicyclists and roller skaters and small businesses also get impacted and get engaged when we go to Viva Calle. So if you guys have not gone to Viva Calle, I encourage you guys to go next time. Uh, just a little plug because I am a supporter of that. Um, and if, we, if it ever gets reviewed again, uh, I hope you guys go on the dais and promote it and go to, the, to it. I'm just going to start some of that time for that. Andrew, I did have some more thoughts. <laughs> 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 It's, it's your show. Yeah. Yes. He only spoke for about 40 seconds. Yeah. I'll, I'll take less. Uh, you know, I didn't have the answer at the top of my mind. Sorry. I think in San Jose, one of the things I've thought for many years is we need a postcard image. What is the postcard of what San Jose is when someone comes in from out of town? And so I would suggest for this anniversary, we launch a public campaign to invite San Joseans to create the city official postcard with their preferred image or place in San Jose. And we highlight that during the anniversary. Mm -hmm.